We're back for more Popper Blackburn. So we played this on the marathon streams, but a, it was kind of a bad version of the deck. So this is a better version. Uh, the deck overall is basically just you play a bunch of aggro creatures and burn spells. That's the short of it. So we'll go through the cards one at a time. We've got Bump in the Night. Target opponent loses three. Flashback for six, including red mana, which is the only reason that we have Rakdos Carnarium in the deck. And then the rest of our deck is a bunch of swamps. There's Gold Draws Vampire, which is a 1-1. One, one, and if an opponent has 10 or less life, it gets plus 2, plus 1, and Intimidate. Which means it can't be blocked except by artifacts and black creatures. Hopeless Nightmare. Opponent discards a card, loses 2, and you can pay 3 to sack it and scry 2. Okiba Reckoner Raid is a saga that on the first two chapters drains the opponent for one life, and then it flips into a 2-2 Menace. And it also says vehicles you control have Menace, but that's completely irrelevant because there's no vehicles in the deck. And then Prickly Bogart is the last creature. It's just a 1-1 with fear. That's it. Just a 1-1 with fear. Then on two, we've got Soul Reap. Destroy target non-green creature. Its controller loses three life if you've cast another black spell this turn. Sovereign's Bite. Target opponent loses three, you gain three. Vampire's Kiss, target opponent loses two, you gain two, and you make two blood tokens. Geth's Verdict, opponent sacks and loses one, or player sacks. And Sign and Blood, target player draw two, lose two. And then finally, over here, Morsel Theft on four mana, but not really, we'll get to that. Target player loses three life, and you gain three life. If this spell's Prowl Cost was paid, draw a card. So the Prowl Cost is two mana, and it says you may cast this for its Prowl Cost if you dealt combat damage to a player this turn with a Rogue. So if we hit them with a Rogue, we can play it for two. And then it changes this into, instead of four mana for drain three, it's two mana for drain three draw a card. Our rogues include Prickly Bogart, which is a rogue, Reckoner Raid, which is a rogue, and Gold Draws Vampire, which is a rogue. In the sideboard, we've got Tithing Blade for the times when we need to have an edict for our opponent's big creatures. Also, we can flip this into a thing that drains them. We've got Trespasser's Curse. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under enchanted player's control, the player loses one life, you gain one life. So the go wide decks we can play this on. Or decks like Ephemerate that keep blinking their creatures. Crypt Rats, when we need sweeps. And Nile Spellbomb for graveyards. And that's it. Very, very straightforward. The problem with Blackburn is usually that it's just worse than Redburn. But we're going to play it anyway. All right, this hand is fine. We're also on the draw, but that's fine too. Keep. Can you brew and still be competitive in Popper? No. Well, it depends what you mean by brew. Can you take existing decks and cards that are already good and recombine them into new combinations? and be good? Yes. Can you come up with totally new decks? Mostly no. All right, let's play Bogart. I think the last new deck was the Proliferate Poison deck, which is essentially a variant of Turbo Fog, but it's a lot different. I would classify that as basically a new deck that is viable. Attack, no blocks. Well, our Edict is going to become not very not very good in this state, so let's see. I probably just want to cast Sign and Blood. I don't know. If the spell's crowd Apostles was paid, draw a card. I guess I cast this, right? I hit them with Bogart and then cast this. Yeah, let's do that. Attack. All right, Morsel Theft with Prowl. Over to them. I assume they're just cracking this clue. Yeah. Journey to Nowhere, eat our dude. All right. Judge is familiar. All right. Take one from this. Oh, wow. We can play three one drops, none of which are spells that this can counter. So let's go Hopeless first. This card's a land. Play Okiba. And then play Gold Draws. Battle Screech. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Boy, does that make S Verdict not very good, eh? All right. So, Strain, definitely sign and blood ourselves. If they want to sack their judges familiar to make me pay one, they did not. All right, well, now we can't play anything else because now anything we play can just get countered by judges familiar. So, let's play, I guess, guess verdict, even if they counter it, is fine because it essentially accomplishes the same job of getting rid of one of their creatures. Or do I just play Prickly Bogart? They can't block it. Yeah, let's play Prickly Bogart. So I think the one advantage that the Black Burn deck has over other aggro decks is the fact that its burn spells also gain life, so you're able to race other aggro decks more effectively. Attacks with everything except Judges Familiar and Thraven. Okay, not really sure why. So this flips over. Sign and Blood. All right, um, they only have two cards left. Let's Sovereign's Bite them first. Sovereign's Bite. And then if they want to make us pay an extra one, that's fine. And if they don't, we get to play Hopeless Nightmare. All right, combat. So these should be able to get in now. Prismatic, sure. Why not attack with these then? Like it wouldn't have made a difference. All right, Hopeless Nightmare. Get that last card out of your hand. It was a journey to nowhere, sure. All right, well, they're out of cards and we still got cards and they can't block any of our guys except uh, Menace Dude. Well, now they're attacking with everything but the Thraven. Okay, I still don't get it. I get, no, so they're, they're keeping one creature back so that Prismatic can, uh, so they can flash Prismatic back, gotcha. All right, um... Hmm. Well, I guess I forced them to use it, right? And then I'll leave I'll leave Nazumi back so that they don't have a free attack with Thraben. 
Like, if they're going to blank all the damage anyway, then just do this. Go to damage. They have to do it, right? They are not going to use it. So they're actually dead now. All right, guess verdict. All of my spells are life loss based, so the prismatic doesn't stop them. Okay, sign and blood you. I can't believe they didn't flashback strands. All right, so let's see. Definitely crypt rats. Uh, Trespasser's Curse seems pretty good against the deck full of Battle Screech tokens and whatnot. Dial Spell Bomb is a little useful to stop Prismatic, but it's not even that important. So Edicts are bad, right? Edicts are just really bad versus the deck that's full of X1s. And what else goes? Soul Reap. Again, most of their creatures are just like a bunch of random X1s, right? So one for one removal doesn't matter that much. Uh, let's see, that's fine, that's fine. Vampire's Kiss is fine. Let's play a Nile Spell Bomb. One Nile Spell Bomb. All right. Of course, these only matter if you get them down really fast, right? They're also pretty slow to set up, though. Yeah, that's fine. Submit. The only problem with Trespasser's Curse is, like, when you draw them later, when the game is already in full swing. Ah, uh, this is fine. Turn one, Okiba. Turn two, Trespasser. Plane. Lunark Veteran. Okiba. So this is going to counter all of our draining. Rafine's Informant. Huh. Discarding Battle Screech. Yep. Well, that's kind of rough. All right. We got to get this out before they start Battle Screeching. So curse. So their life total stays the same now and our life total increases. Never mind. Their life total goes up by one per trigger. They're certainly getting a lot of creatures on board really quickly. Two battle screeches? Come on. All right. So we're just going to lose on the board is the problem. Are these just too slow on the draw? Is that the problem? All right. Well, I mean, they just have a gigantic board. So what can we do? And they're gaining a bunch of life as well. All right. This flips over. We definitely need to draw. So sign and blood. Land. Vampire, over to them. All right, I have to trade as much on the ground as possible. Swing, 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 swing. Trade with one of these guys. All right, Crypt Rats it is. Do I want to wait a turn to potentially get another land? I don't want to play Crypt Rats and then they just kill it with something. It's potentially better to go Vampire's Kiss, get rid of a card, try to find more lands and then do it. And we're not imminently dying. All right, Vampire's Kiss, then Blood. What am I pitching? Probably Bump in the Night. All right, no lands. So back over to them. Journey. So they did have a journey to nowhere. Yeah. All right. Okay. We need to draw land like right now so we can get around prismatic strand. I just can't. I don't think I can wait more. Well, how much damage are we taking? Four, seven, eight, nine. We go to two and then the crypt rats has to, and then I have to kill this. All right. Uh, blood. So awkward. All right. Discard prickly bog art. There's a land. All right. So carnarium trigger, pick this up and then sovereign's bite. So we survive. And now next turn, we can go Crypt Rats to Mana kill everything. If they don't have Strand in their hand. If they have Strand in their hand, then we just... They're keeping a guy back. Okay, they have Strand in there, sure. Oi, so annoying. All right, Crypt Rats, over to them. So because they have it, I have to block Rafine's Informant and then do it for one. So that if they respond with Strands, I can do it again. So block here. Before damage, activate this one. All right, we're at five. So then they get both of these dudes back. Considering how much graveyard stuff they've got going on, apparently I really do need to just uh, have all the Nile spell bombs in. All right, these guys come back. Just got nothing going on, eh? All right, just max out our mana. Kiss, Bog Art, Bite. All righty then. I have to have dealt damage to them, right? Yeah. If you're looking to give some decks a second shot, you could always play Mono Blue Spirits. Uh, I don't think so, Ocean Rain. I don't think that's going to be happening. All right, we can't block anything except this dude, which we're not going to block. Seven. Judges familiar. All right, attack with the bog art. Swing. All righty then. Morsel theft for prowl. Target you. Draw. Vampire kiss. Bump in the night is life loss, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I actually don't use this because I need to flashback bump next turn. So if they have prismatic strands, they just prevent this from hitting them, right? Although they might not if it's only one. I'm probably better off digging for something that's not having to spend all my mon on bump, right? Blood, pitch this. Blood, pitch this. All right, over to them. I guess they can gain life at instant speed by sacking this if I cast a spell, right? So we're at seven. Goal draws vampire. All right, combat, swing, damage. All right, well, I'm not going to not do it. So cast with prowl. They have to sack the judge's familiar. No? Okay. All right, we're on the play for round two. So we only have one land and not much to do with it. Yeah, let's mold this. Still only one land and still not much to do with it. It's more to do with it, though. All right, I'm not going to five. What am I putting back? I guess Sovereign's Bite is the card that does the least in the hand. Let's put that away. All right, Hopeless Nightmare. They discarded Defile, so it's probably Gardens. Yeah, okay, it's Garden. Bump, back to them. Lumbus, they're a Lumbus deck. Yeah, and they have Reckoner's Bargain, right? So it's going to be pretty tough to drain them out. Bump, another Garden. We well, just can't get lands. All right, Hopeless Nightmare. 
Crack a guy with fanatical offering. Sure. This card's Crypt Rats. Maps onto the plant, revealing fanatical offering, which they are not binning. All right, taking one from this plant. Come on, a land. Still no land. All right, back to them. Cracks Lembus, plays a Lembus. Still can't draw lands. All right. How many do we have? 18. No, I will not be going to pre-release from uh, Karlov Manor. Venging Hunter, and we have lost the game, folks. There we go. This is non-green, right? Yeah. We finally drew our land. It's way too late. Yeah, there's no way we win. Okay, so Soul Reap is not useless. They do have non-green creatures, but it's mostly bad. Uh, after that, Tithing Blade is maybe okay. Is there a reason to play Nile Spellbomb in this matchup? I don't think. I'm not going to play Curse. They don't actually have that many creatures that they put into play. And I don't see a reason for Crypt Rats either. So let's just uh, swap Soul Reap for Tithing Blade and we're good. No lands. Three lands. All right. Keep and put a land back, I guess. So this, Okiba. Would you ever consider playing standard if the cost was Pokemon levels of cheap? I currently think it is somehow the best competitive MTG format, and the only thing holding it back is its cost. Yeah, if standard wasn't standard, then yes, I would consider playing it. Nightmare, bump, and over to them. Lumbus. So we just got all these things in our hand that aren't doing anything, and we can't attack yet. All right, back to them, I guess. There's more to standard than how much it costs. Yes, but how much it costs has been a pretty ingrained part of the format. It's basically always cost a lot. All right, our guy dies. And without that, and without them playing any creatures, our verdict, our edicts are not good, and our morsel theft is online. All right, Sovereign's Bite. I have never played a standard format where the, where the decks were actually affordable. Outside of niche scenarios where, like, one specific competitively viable deck is cheap. Crack the Tithe for the Deadly Dispute. Crack the Lembus. Avenging Hunter. All right, Geths. Now we get to slowly lose to the initiative. Finally actually drew a creature. It's not going to matter. Watsy forcing stores to run standard, updating the format's rotation, and not printing challenger decks was definitely a choice. Yep. All right, well, I can at least steal the initiative now, I think, unless they use these two tre- Wait, how do they have two treasures? Oh, two treasures plus a third thing. If they kill our guy, then we're completely- All right, Tithing Blade, Combat, Attack. Yeah, of course they have it. All right, Gold Draws. Intimidate doesn't even work even if it was online because they're about to make a skeleton. Man, fuck the initiative so hard, like, and Monarch, and just these effects that are just sit and play generating value that you can't interact with. Emblems, all that bullshit. This is actually one of the major reasons that I don't think the format is is legitimate. Duress, steal our thing. We're just way too far behind. They're about to flip a, a guy over. We're dead. Yes, Popper is the best of the competitive 1v1s, but it's still got a lot of bullshit in it. All right, we're on the play. We get to keep this. All right, Okiba is the best one drop here. Play this, play gold draws, play bump. The best 1v1 format is Tiny Leaders, and I'm mostly not joking. You are incorrect. Your opinion is wrong. I'm sorry to inform you. All right, uh, this flips over. Combat. All right, they're representing counter mana. I'm just going to sign a blood myself. If they counter it, they count. Brainstorm. So they're Delver, right? They're playing Mental Note. It has to be Delver. Well, that resolved and we didn't hit another land. Oh, well. Over to them. Thought Scour. I guess the nice thing is if they do play a Terror, our guys can still attack through it. Brainstorm. Cryptic Serpent. I can't quite get them to be under... No, I can actually. I can play Bump Hopeless and then attack with both. All right, Bump. Actually, I should play Hopeless first. Always play Hopeless first so they have less information. <clears throat> Discarding a land. All right, Bump them. And now both these guys can attack unobstructed, putting them to four. I mean, you may as well attack unless you're about to play a second creature. Delver. Delver. All right. Uh, they still can't block this. They can block this, which is fine. Combat attack boomerang the gold draws sure block block trade with both is it better to play gold draws or is it better to just burn them i guess probably just play gold draws again and bog art gold draws bog art go all right no blocks opponent brainstorms i think the sweet spot for mana in this deck is three you want three and then you usually don't want any more thought scour brainstorm all right we won game one so definitely want all the nile spell bombs Definitely want all the Tithing Blades. What do we not want? I think all the creatures are fine. I think probably like the Sovereign's Bites are bad. The Vampire's Kisses are probably bad. What does that leave me with? Bump in the Night is the next least useful card after all of that. We want creatures that can keep hitting them. We want Edict Effects. All right, that, uh, that's fine. This is, you have to double spell to drain them, right? No lands, mold. All right, I can keep this. What am I putting away? Again, probably just Bump in the Night. Anything that's just damage that isn't killing their guys or putting a creature into play probably just has to go. Delver. Well, this hand's going to be really awkward with the, the Tithing Blade now because I have to play a Bounce. So I guess let's get Okiba going. Does Delver flip? No. 
Thought Scour, Milled Curse of Chains. At the beginning of each upkeep, tap Enchanted Creature. All right, so I can just Tithing Blade this to kill it now, which is probably better. It relieves the pressure on me. It also means all future edicts are better. Okay, this flips. So the most non-efficient thing is to play, I guess, Gold Draws, Hopeless Nightmare, and then Carnarium Bounce of Land. All right, Gold Draws, Counter. All right, Hopeless Nightmare. They discarded a Null. Bounce, Counter Target, Artifact, or Enchantment. I mean, we do have a fair amount of those, I guess. Brainstorm. How many Talarian Terror spells do they have in their yard now? It's four. Curse of Chains on this dude. Uh-huh. Very well. Ooh, Nile Spell Bomb. Oh, well, let me go ahead and cycle that, why don't I? Play this. Eat your yard. Trigger. All right, and then while they're tapped out, let's bloat ourselves. Over to them. All right, pretty good position. They don't have too many cards. Their graveyard is gone. Upkeep Mental Note to get rid of a bunch of stuff they don't want. Sure. Should I have waited on the Nile Spell Bomb? I guess maybe. Although if they do play a Terror here, I can Edict it. Huh. Do I have any way of actually getting rid of this? I guess I don't, right? All right, let's craft. I don't think it matters whether it's the one in play or not. Is this Mono Black Burn? It is indeed Mono Black Burn. Cryptic Serpent with one Mono Floating, or one Mono Open, rather. All right, Drain You. Let's go ahead and play Tithing Blade. And over to them. Talarian Terror. All right, uh... I want to have more mana open in case the last card is Counterspell so that I can pay, so I can reap this and pay the ward. So let's pop Hopeless Nightmare right now. This is, I don't want the Hopeless, I guess it depends, what is the last card in their hand, right? That's what matters. Let's bottom this and then I guess keep this one on top. All right, Verdict. All right, play Gold Draws. All right, we got it. Beat Delver. Tithing Blade seems like a nice addition to this deck, indeed. Although it is only a sideboard card, but it is a nice addition to the deck. Do you play Popper in real life too? I would if there were any stores that actually ran them, but there aren't. I live in a somewhat low population area. My city has less than 50,000 people, and there are somehow three shops that run Popper all on different nights, so I play a lot of Piper Popper. It's pretty awesome. I would imagine. Uh, unfortunately, I live in Southern California, and even though there are a ridiculous amount of shops around, none of them support Popper. No lands into no lands is pretty rough. All right, keep this. Definitely putting a land back. And so we're mulling to five, which means that we have to play a grindy game probably. So let's get rid of bump. Forest Utopia Sprawl. Well, this isn't going to go well. We're playing against decks that... We're playing against the deck that probably plays Thermocar... Oh, it's Boggles. Okay. This is still not going to go well unless we draw... Uh, I guess we have Grass Verdict, right? Swamp. Go. Actually, there's eight Edicts in our 75. All right, this is going to go fine. They don't have any play on turn two with three mana. Right, gold draws, Rakdos, bounce, go. Slippery Boggle, armor. No, not the cartouche. All right, how do we get out of this? The card that's probably like a one of in their deck. So we have to have double edicts basically, or we have to draw like Soul Reap to kill this token. Ugh. All right, well, we got to sign and blood ourselves to try to draw out of it. Glitters, okay, we're dead in two hits. Oh my God, armor, Jesus Christ. It's, we're actually dead next turn regardless of whether we block this or not, right? How do I... Okay, so I don't have to block it. What benefit is there in not blocking it or versus blocking it? If I draw the second Edict, but all my Edicts are Guest Verdict, so I actually can't double them. I guess blocking it now means I don't take the damage so that if they draw like a Rancor next turn, then it's better if I'd blocked it. Although if they draw a Rancor next turn, then they're dealing another five on top of that, so we're probably dead anyway. Although it does depend on what we get. The main reason I'm considering not blocking is because we've got Morsel Theft in our hand. All right, I'm not going to block. We're at one. Okay. I mean, the problem is if I attack... So if I attack and they block, we just kill their guy. They're not going to block. So we hit them, then we cast Morsel Theft, and then we only have two mana left, right? And we have to have drawn another creature to block with. So we can't attack for Morsel Theft. So the best move is to what? Vampire's Kiss and then try, and then try to blood our way into the out. All right, Vampire's Kiss. Oh, what do I... What's the best thing to pitch? Probably Okiba Gang. Get rid of Reckoner. Yikes. All right, over to them. So I have to block this now. <laughs> nah, they drew Rancor anyway. All right, sure. All that glitters. Look at that. That's just ridiculous. All right, so all the Tithing Blades and Crypt Rats. Yeah, Soul Reap can kill their token. That doesn't matter. Get rid of that. What else? Just burn spells don't matter, basically. So, uh, where, where is it? Not Vamp Kiss, uh, Sovereign Spite. So presumably they have to bring in some amount of Edict Protection, right? But a bunch of their creatures have Hexproof anyway. 12 of them do. All right, this is fine. Bunch of Edicts and Crypt Rats, we keep. Swamp, go. Forest, Boggle. All right, go ahead and Edict this now. Silhana. all right. Um, if they load some stuff onto it, I think I'm fine with that. Let's play Crypt Rats. Back to them. Colony Garden. 
And there's the Crypt Rats protecting. Okay, combat, attack with Crypt Rats. Um, let's sign in blood land. All right, just pass with Crypt Rats open. I know they have an instant speed to make a guy, right? Swing. They don't even have white mana. All right, activate Crypt Rats at end of turn. Play blood. All right, gold draws, gold draws, Carnarium, bounce a swamp. Over to them. Boggle. Tithe you, sir. Tithe you. Play this. Kiss. Combat. Swing, swing. Then I'll just hold this mana open to blood slash edict, whichever I need to do. Abundant growth. Boggle. Glade cover scout. Okay. Well, let's edict. And back to us. Edict. Actually, no. Uh, I'm definitely going to use this blood token. Discard swamp. Nightmare. Discarded glitters. All right. Geth them, and this puts them to 10, and then these guys get bigger. Attack. All right. We won that one. Sideboarding. So let's see. Some of their tokens are plants, so the soul rapes can't even hit those. The only question is, like, is Nile Spellbomb better than a Sovereign's Bite? No. All right. Once again, no lands. All right. Lands. What's going back? One of the Prickly Bog Arts, I guess. Yeah, one of the Prickly Bog Arts. I don't like that this hand is slow and doesn't have any removal in it. Topia Sprawl. All right. Well, we're going to play Bog Art instead so we can Morsel Theft if we need to. I was otherwise planning on playing Reckoner Raid. Silhana. Cartouche, Edict Proof. I'm losing the race right now, so I think it's better if I don't attack them so that I can hold back a block on the Warrior token because I'm just going to sign a blood instead. Yeah, we just need to draw removal. That is not removal. All right, back to them. Life Link. All right, I'm still good as long as they're not putting a pun of power onto it. Cycle Ash Barons. Okay. Yeah, of course it's Glitters. All right, can't block. Go to 12. Dead in two hits. All right, we probably have to Hopeless that last card out of their hand. So Hopeless, it was another cartoon. Combat, swing. We just have to draw an answer. Morsel, Prowl. Well, there's a Verdict finally. Not that it's going to help with the Warrior token in play. Oh, come on. Their top deck was Colony Garden. So my only out now, I think, is Crypt Rats. Because I got to get rid of the rest of this. Fuck. I don't have even time. I'm going to die in two attacks. All right, so we have to, let's say, let's see, Vampire's Kiss and then Blood Away, something irrelevant. So Blood, Sacking, oh, let's get rid of Okiba, Land. I can't afford to play anything. I just have to keep blooding. The problem is even if I draw Crypt Rats at this point, I still lose. Yeah, all right, go to them. They top decked a fucking cartoon. All right, mm-hmm. Blood, Okiba, Double Verdict, or Edict, yeah. Doesn't matter, we're still dead. Yay! Can't target a creature and it's unblockable. Magic. Round five on the play. All right, this is fine. Keep this. All right, this one, Okiba. Contaminated Aquifer, so probably uh, ter Blue Black Terror. All right, uh, it's probably better to just sign now. Over to them. Well, the fact that they're black deck means that all of the fear and intimidate stuff doesn't work on Gurmag, at least. Foretold a card. All right, this thing flips over, then let's go bump, Bog Art. We're drawing a lot of lands, eh? What are the foretell cards that are in Popper? There's the draw one, and there isn't there a counter spell? Chainer's Edict, Sack Prickly. So it's either a bounce spell or it's a draw, scry two, draw two. Ooh, we can cast Morsel Theft. All right, combat, swing, then Prowl, land, gold draws, over to them. Brainstorm. Maestro's Theater, no, they gain a life. Gold draws stops being pumped. Come on, play a creature. Aw, man, we were just drawn lands. All right, combat, swing. All right, they're at eight. Gold draws is back online. Behold the multiverse. So yeah, it's the scry draw card. Brainstorm. Suffocating fumes cycle. Otherwise, everything gets minus one. Terror. Okay. Terror. Well, kill one of them. Okay, so this should be lethal then, right? Bump. Combat. Can't block either one. All right. So blue-black terror. So we're going to want all the edicts. We're going to want all the all the spell bombs. And then obviously, we again do not want the cards that don't really do anything. So Sovereign's Bite and Bump. Just burn. Not helpful. Because we need control of the board. A uh, bit mana heavy, but it's fine. Ponder. Ooh, turn to a Morsel Theft, potentially. All right, play this. If they don't hold up Counterspell, which they're going to. Combat. Attack. You know what? Let's just tax them. Play Gold Draws. They haven't played any black mana yet. Yeah, there's the Counterspell. Play Hopeless Nightmare. Discard a Drown. All right. Bajookabog. Us. Uh, sure. Combat. Swing. All right. If they have a counter, they have a counter. Let's cast Prowl. It, they do have a counter. Yeah. I prioritize that over blood because blood gets us more cards. Whereas I don't really care about draining them for three that much. Brainstorm. So that's five spells in their yard so they can play a terror. And then we have to spend our whole turn killing it. Lorien revealed. But they are not. They're still holding up counter spell mana. All right. Combat. Swing. Sign and blood us. All right. Vampire's kiss. Ponder. Terror number one. Drew tithing blade. All right. So play tithing blade. Now they have the counter spell. 
And it's the ward is so fucking annoying. Like, I have the kill spell, but I can't actually target this thing. All right, discard a swamp. Discard the swamp in case I draw one drop. Another swamp. All right, well, attack. Terror hits us back. We go to 15. Fangs it. At least we can kill this, right? Bogart, Soul Reap, pay the ward. Okay, attack. Lorien revealed off the top. Cool. I guess I maybe should have upkeeped this. I don't know. Hopeless Nightmare. Definitely want this and definitely don't want this. Carnarium, Bounce Swamp. Yeah, I definitely would have used Spell Bomb if I had upkeeped that. That's really going to bite me, isn't it? Lorien revealed again. Augur of Bolas. Okay. Revealing Brainstorm. So we don't have time to diddle around with this. Nile Spell Bomb. Blow their graveyard up. Morsel. All right. Combat. Swing. All right. Prowl this. I guess Soul Reap this guy. I'm thinking like ugh, if they play Terror or something. We, we're getting so close and I don't gain the life or I don't drain the life if I don't do this now. It puts them on a two turn clock if I do this now. Also, if we draw edicts later to deal with the bigger guys, then we need that to be gone. Spell bomb. Really? The only graveyard thing we have in our whole deck is uh, bump. Brainstorm. Guess verdict. All right, go to combat. Echoing decay our dude. It cannot be right to guess verdict to stop that, right? That can't be right. Yeah, all right, that resolves. Over to them. Lorien revealed again. It's also awesome that we now have lands that are also draw threes. Nothing unbalanced about this at all. All right, foretold, behold the multiverse, assuming. All right, so now we just have to draw burn, although we took most of the burn out of our deck. All right, let's cast tithe and flip it. Flip this, craft with one of these dudes. All right, over to them. Four turn clock off the sepulcher. Behold the multiverse. Ponder. What's exiled right now? They've used up one of their terrors and that's it. They have not played any other threats so far. Brainstorm. Bolus reveals Chainer's Edict. Terror. All right, this triggers. If we play gold draws and they just play Edict and it doesn't even matter. They also have tons of mana. It forces them to use it, but then they still have another eight mana anyway. So who cares? All right, just back to them, I guess. Suffocating Fumes Cycle. All right, I guess I'm gonna cast Verdict here. Why not? Take less damage. Also drains them for one, so we get closer to killing them. Oh, do they have fangs? Fuck's sake. Yep. Was basically they're only out there and they have it. But, you know, they have a million cards, so it's not... Oh, another creature. Cool. Oh, and they drew Counterspell off of that. So we just cannot possibly win now. All right. I mean, I don't think I changed anything. Yeah. All right. A bunch of edicts. All right, let's go. Play Nightmare. They discarded fangs. All right. Play Spell Bomb. Go to them. So I got to be very wary of how many things they're putting in their graveyards to the Spell Bomb. There's also potentially the matter of just needing to draw more cards anyway. So I don't think I do it now. I think I wait since I have another land drop anyway and then see what next turn brings and then probably spell bomb them during the next turn. All right, I can Vampire's Kiss and still have Mono open for spell bomb. Brainstorm. So essentially every land drop in my deck now is a dead draw for the most part. I can cast everything. I'm not running bumps after sideboard anymore. Island. All right, um, right, I'm going to do this now. Okay, Okiba Reckoner Raid. Counterspell, sure. Rakdos Carnarium, Bounce the Swamp. I guess let's Blood. There are one drops I would play here. Get rid of this. All right, back to them. Lorien Revealed for the Black Mana. I just don't think I'm ever blooding away removal, so. A Nile Spell Bomb, you say? Play that. Over to them. I have so many Edicts that I don't actually need to keep their graveyard clear for the time being. Murmuring Mystic. Okay. That definitely is Edict Protection. Do they have a one mana spell that they can instant speed to make a bird? Even if they do, if they make a bird, they lose it. And then I just untap Tithing Blade and it dies anyway. That's probably fine. All right, Guess Verdict. Brainstorm, make a bird. All right. Ooh, we drew another Edict. Tithing Blade. Back to them. Spell Count in the Grave is three. Not playing anything on their side. All right, I have no reason to play anything on my side either. Actually, no, I do need another land because of Tithing. So there is a reason to have a fifth land. Reckoner Raid. Counterspell. Sure. Uh, back to them. Suffocating cycle. All right, let's end step the spell bomb so that we can maybe get to the fifth land and flip the tithing blade over and actually put a clock on them. All right, uh, float, Rakdos, bounce this, blood, get rid of this. Uh, all right, over to them. Hold on to this because I have more blood tokens in my deck. Ponder, Lorien revealed, uh-huh. So let's sack the nightmare. What are we about to draw? Blood, morsel theft. I don't want morsel theft, I do want blood. All right, let's go ahead and play the swamp, and then let's flip this over. Oh, do I not have a single creature in my yard? Oh, I don't actually have any creatures in my yard. Huh. Alrighty then. Blood. More swamps. All right, back to them. And they're playing a land doing nothing. Okay. Okiba. Let's play Okiba. 
they resolved. So back to us, keep it triggers, back to them. The moment this flips, I'm gonna tithing blade it because I have no confidence that this is gonna survive. So we're both just having a staring contest. Flip, all right, tap, 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 craft. Let's vamp kiss over to them. So are they just like maybe waiting to deploy a whole bunch of creatures at once? Or maybe their hand's just not good, but how can that be? They have seven cards and 10 mana. All right, blood, get rid of the swamp, it's triggers and blood. Tap this, vamp kiss. Do I just cycle this? I don't think so. All right, cast Nile Spellbomb. Over to them. I mean, I don't have to do anything. I, I, they are on a clock. It's a slow one, but it's a clock. Lorien revealed. Draw a bunch of cards. Ponder. That puts four cards in the yard. So terror costs uh, three. That's fine. Yeah, okay, that resolves. Ponder again. I'm going to do it now. Spellbomb. Gets rid of Gurmag fodder if they're playing that, and it means that they can't double terror or something. All right, blood away the blood the swamp okay cleanup step they have 10 cards in their hand echoing decay cast down chainers so do they just have like a bunch of removal spells and our refusal to play any creatures is preventing their removal spells from actually doing anything okay uh blood they can flashback edict but it takes like their whole turn to do it so let's play gold draws they have drown they get to hit me they get to like let's just commit one one threat to the board at a time that's fine we're still gonna very very slowly kill them with this tithing blade that actually would have been, maybe it would have been better to play Bogart instead, because that way, I assume they're holding onto a bunch of removal. It leaves that we could have played this last and played the Bogarts first, giving me more opportunities to have this stick around as a bigger creature. All right, well, if they have removal, it's not instant speed, or they just want to chainers. Okay, cast down, that's Ponder. I've only been through how many counter spells? Two, so they have more counters in their deck. By the way, they have 25 cards in their deck, and we have 26, so uh, half the deck so far on each side. Plays a terror, uh-huh. Plays a terror, uh-huh. Plays a terror, uh-huh. All right, uh, end of turn verdict spell. All right, let's blood away a Bogart. Drain, this, tithing, that resolves. I mean, I have maybe the op opportunity to kill everything here, so let's verdict. Soul Reap, pay the ward. Yeah, okay, I figured they were holding the counter spell for the last one. Right, Bogart, and then if they can fangs it, they can uh, get to a position where they don't need to do anything. Yeah, fangs. Well, at least they're out of cards. They've got Chainers in their graveyard, so no blocks. How many Edicts have we been through? A lot. Chainers, eat our guy. This triggers. Well, F me. All right, uh, Okiba, Bogart, tap, tap, Tithing Blade. This over, crafting from the graveyard. Back to them. No blocks. Six point life swing, or 12 points rather. Another Terror, so that's all the Terrors in their deck. Uh, another Chainers Edict. For yeah, and now I can't Prowl the Morsel Theft. All right. Tithing Blade, then they'll sack the one that doesn't have lifelink. Flip this over. Augur of Bolus. Reveals Agony Warp. So this Okiba gang's not going to survive. Another 12-point life swing. Ugh. All right, all these trigger. Then this thing flips over. They also still have Chainers in their graveyard. So fucking... All right, Bogart. Back to them. Agony Warp, that dies. No blocks. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Combat. Swing. They could have Agony Warped on their end step to stop this, and then because they could have Chainers back. All right, Morsel Theft, Prowl. We've been through a lot of Edicts. I forget how, I don't, I think we still have some, but not that many. Spell Bomb. I have to cycle this now so they lose their Edict. Target, pay the ability. Another Morsel Theft. Prowl, oh my God. All of that and we're not hitting anything. What have I been through? How many Vamps Kisses have I been through so far? So an Exile is just creatures. There's one, two, three. I've been through all of them, so there's no reason not to just play lands. What's my total Edict count? Three. Four, five, six. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get this off the board. Unless I draw Soul Reap? How many Soul Reaps do I have? I think there's three in the deck total, right? Oh, they revealed Counter Spell? God damn, you got to be kidding. Well, we're, we lose the game now. They never have to counter anything except the one spell that kills Talarian Terror, and it, that's if we even draw it to begin with. All right, Nightmare, Counter. Mm -hmm. I guess I hit them. You know, this is the kind of game, it's been going really, really long, right? This would normally be the kind of game that I would say, this game's awesome. It's a back and forth. Oh, so many turns went by, it's turn 20. But Talarian Terror is just such fucking bullshit that I don't feel that way. I hate this card. And now they drown, and now I can't block their guy. All right, what do I hit off the top? Soul Reap. Okay, can I kill this? Yeah, uh-huh. Pay the ward. Can I kill this goddamn thing? Oh, thank God. All right, so now we have uh, alternating three-point life swings every turn. They hit me for three, we drain them for three. Lorien revealed. Augur reveals Behold the Multiverse. Casts Behold the Multiverse. Uh-huh, we take three, five, upkeep. We might actually beat them on the clock if they don't have another threat. 
All right, sign and blood. Even though, they, yes, that reduces our life total, but we need to find something to do. All right, hopeless nightmare. Trigger. Soul reap to kill one of these. Then back to them. Should I have held that in case they play another terror? They didn't last turn. Murmuring Mist. All right, we take some damage. Thorn of the Black Rose. They've had this the entire time. It's actually almost a liability for them at this point, right? Tap this, tap this, scry. Gold draws, gold draws. I mean, they block. Is that helpful? No, it isn't. So I go up to six and then potentially die. I just don't... What can I even draw at this point? I have 12 cards left in my deck. How many Soul Reaps have I been through? One, two, three. That's... They're gone. What is still in my deck? I think I would rather draw Tithing Blade than either of these guys. So let's just bottom them both. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Guess verdict. All right, let's pass. And if they cast a spell, I guess we verdict them. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's the same damage either way. Maestros, sure. They did actually have a land to get. All right, verdict you. R try to reduce the damage I'm taking. Spell, make a bird. Yeah. We go to one, and then I think I'm going to die before I can do anything, even though I have three of these. Yep, we have drawn nothing. Can't beat them on the clock. Can't beat them on the board. They have literally two cards left in their deck and less than 40 seconds on the clock. Uh-huh. Two and three with Blackburn. So the same problems exist that they've always had. It's just so much worse than Redburn. It's not just like a little bit worse. It's way worse. The problem is the cards are not nearly as efficient. Redburn has mostly one drops. This has a bunch of two drops. Red burn spells also target creatures, so you can also kill stuff. Hardly any of our burn in the black version actually kills creatures. The actual damage output, if you just look at all of the numbers, is lower than the burn output. Burn even has cards like Galvanic Blast that deal, or Goblin Grenade and whatnot, that deal more damage than any of these cards deal. Red's one drops are better. Their, their creatures just in general are better. They have haste. They are bigger than a 1-1 Prickly Bog Art. They don't have all of these conditions, like gold draws needs your opponent to already be low to be good. Okiva doesn't actually be a creature until later. The only real... And also, red gets to play uh, red blast against the blue decks. It gets to play red sweepers, so things like end the festivities. It just has much, much better card quality than Blackburn. The only benefit that Blackburn even really has is edict effects, which are variably better against certain decks, but not even by... Like, it's not worth the trade-off at all. So yeah, uh, if you, I guess, just want to have fun and you love playing Blackburn, it's fine, but it's always going to be worse than Redburn. Anyway, today's media recommendation is the novel Watership Down. This is a novel about a warren of rabbits and their journey across a small area of Britain. If you like animals, if you like bunnies specifically, if you enjoy stories about socio-governmental setups and how cultures and various governments function and are oriented, especially involving things like uh, collectivism, tyrannical governments, surveillance states, etc. And you have a penchant for the slightly fantastical, then Watership Down, definitely for you. This used to be actually my favorite novel. It is at present time my second favorite novel. So highly recommend Watership Down. And that is going to do it for Blackburn. <laughs>